Okay, let's create a new application and let's rename it as Reload Task. And just go to the Click Cloud Connector, and this one we are basically going to do the reload one. So once we have a reload connector, we are going to name the app or select the app ID that we are going to use. This will be Sales Tutorial that I will be going to use. Here we go. And you can just run time anything. You are really going to wait for the reload to complete. Uh, leave the timer blank. And for the partial one, we are going to say no. Here we go. And then we are going to go to the mail connector. And in the mail connector, there is only one send mail. So we'll just do that. And then we have to. If you haven't already set up, you have to do the connection setup. But the connection setup, we it will be it's fairly easy. We just go to click on another email, write any email, SMTP address, and if you don't know how to set up that, there is a guide over here, or you can check any SMTP guidelines. Once you do that, you come back to the inputs. Here in inputs, basically we're going to give the email id so if you click over here you will see that we have the option to enter a formula so this particular option means that you can get the data from click and have a dynamic email id for the process order so we're going to put an email id and then we're going to write the subject and i can write it dynamically as well successful reload of application ID so I can mix the things as well here we have a lot of other uh, things that we can we can use that in email as well so just for the time being and we are going to connect click on ID and it will be a text we can have a HTML one and we can have an output message for this is a simpler one but we can have a complicated based on data and a lot of other things so we're going to save it and then we're going to run it it's going to generate an email that will be in your inbox now that's good we're going to set up the same thing for from the application from the time being it's going to run from here in automation but we're going to set up from application so we're going to the application we're going to create a new button oops button here and then we're going to select we will not going to add any action we're going to select the navigation part in navigation we're going to select open website and we're going to copy that get email uh, api over here and click on done now click on the button so I have put a um, text box indicating when it was last refreshed and you see here the time